Just hit the stop sign, so call stop here and watch around and start again. So I see the map is showing the sort of the edges, the 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 walls of this uh, right, right. course. Yeah. How do at what signal is it using to detect those? Yes. This car equips the five laser scanners to detect the distance to the object. Ah, lasers. So, yeah, laser system. So it can detect the fence and some people's on TVs, TV sets. Alright. And on walls. Yeah. yeah. So the lasers are super accurate, but uh, is that a, the most expensive way to do it? Well, at the time it's not so <laughs> cheap, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. yeah. So you can see, you know, the car is detected here. So car detected it and uh, judges to wait here until that car goes by. And then turn to good blue and start. Was there a communication between the two cars to determine who can go first? No. Okay. But based on the rules of that region. Mm -hmm. In this demo, we uh, uh, had the rule of Japan. So the, in the rule of Japan, the left cars have the you know, priority to go through. Yeah. So here's the other uh, car, parked car. So car stopped here and judged that that car will not move and there's no cars are coming, so the cars start to overtake and go back to the original plane. So besides the lasers, do you have vision-based sensors or ultrasound-based sensors? That you yeah, we also have the five cameras. has a good point and bad point and also the laser scanner so that we combined both sensors have you tried it on the road yet ah uh, yes we we you know had the uh, experiment on the road of course it's not the automatic driving but uh, you know, uh, Japan government had recently approved uh, letting well I hope so <laughs> oh yeah, at the time that the, yeah, the Japanese government tried to, we were going to do that, but officially, I, I, I haven't heard that it's approved. Okay. Yeah.